Hello and welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to see how to create this Luma Glow using Adobe Premiere Pro. Before getting into the topic I would like to thank you for being here and supporting me and also if you have not subscribed yet I highly recommend you to click on the subscribe button. Open up Premiere Pro and these four clips I have downloaded from mixkit.com and I have imported them into the timeline. Duplicate the video clip in video track 1 to video track 2 and turn off the visibility of video track 1. Now go to the effects panel and search for Luma key effect and apply it into the duplicated video clip. That's the video clip in video track 2. Now in the effect controls, adjust the threshold and cutoff values so that we just have the black and white. The clip like a alpha map. And again go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur effect and apply it into the duplicated video clip. Set the blurriness to somewhere around 30 and make sure you click on repeat edge pixels. Adjust the cutoff and threshold values depending upon the footage you have. So now turn on the visibility of video track 1 and that's it. We have created a Luma Glow. This is the before and this is the after. Now let's see how to save this as a preset. So select these two effects that we have applied and right click on them and select save preset. Name it as whatever you want. I am saving it as Luma Glow. Click OK. Let's see how to use this preset. Now for the second clip, I am going to duplicate it to the video track 1 and search for Luma Glow in effects and presets panel and under presets we have this Luma Glow that we have saved earlier and apply it into the duplicated video clip that's in the video clip at video track 2. Now in the effect controls, we have to adjust some values for the threshold and cutoffs. Yeah, now this is this. This is the before and this is the after. So for the video club 3, same way I am applying the preset. And I am going to adjust the threshold and cutoff values. So there are no specific values for this threshold and cutoff values. These values depend upon the footage you have. And this would be good. This is the before and this is the after. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. This is Southern Channel.